Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create the app on iOS, iPhone to turn on or off multiple alarms on iPhone by one click. Today, I'm going to show you how to create the shortcut in iOS to build the group multiple alarm to turn it on often your daily just by one click. First, go to the iPhone alarm app and set all the time of the daily working time you need to group. Set the time and repeat on weekdays. Repeat on weekdays. Then name the label it to the same name such as work to easy recognize and setting later. If you forget to set the label and repeat on weekdays, come back again to set it. As you can set the sound of ringtone you like, select one in the list. Now get to the Shortcuts app available in UIOS. Create the new shortcut, then start setting. Rename the new shortcut to recognize it easier. Press Add Action, type, then search. And choose the Choose from menu. Rename the 1 and 2 as you like. It'll be the name of the option you choose when you press Start Your Shortcut Works. A type then search and choose the toggle alarm. Type then search and choose the toggle alarm again until fit all the alarm times you have been set. This is the last time of alarm in my list. Now turn back to the setting alarms time. Press and hold the time. 00.00. .00. Scroll down and select the alarm time that mark work label. You also can hold and change the command turn to become toggle. But in this case, I will choose back to turn. That means is turn the alarm you have set to on or off. Press then hold the second command. Toggle alarm and choose to fit the second alarm. Times you have been set was mark work label. Do so will all the rest command. If you cannot find out the next alarm you have been set and mark work label, that means you forget to rename it before. Then you have to come back to alarm app and set that alarm time to work label. This is really important because in the future, when you edit your alarm, it will be automatic link to this shortcut and you don't need to edit this shortcut again when you are busy. So this work label mark not only simple show the way you're easy to recognize. So mark the label that remind you don't adjust the alarm mark work label. Except this label, you can add more or set the new or edit even delete the another alarm. And after I correct it, you see it's still linked to the command.
And now we're going to add more action name is list. This list will show you all the times of work alarm on your phone screen to make you easy following the process. And this step is not necessary. You can pass this action if you don't want to show off. Now I type all the time of alarm I have been set for my daily working alarm. Now we're gonna add more action. Name is show alert. If you pass the list action, this show alert action will be not working. So if you pass the list action, you should pass this action too. And you can type whatever you want to show off. Press and hold the do you want to continue in the show alert action and choose the list. I need to show the text that working alarm have turned on. You can type whatever you like. If you feel the text is too long, because not enough space to show off on the phone screen, you also can delete some word not necessary. Now this step really important. You have to drag all the toggle alarm action that turn on the alarms command you have been set under the enable work alarm and choose from menu action form command. and then do so for the list and show alert action. Sort them by order. Now build the same action and command like above from toggle, list show alert and drag them under disable work alarm and choose from menu action form command. If you don't want to type and search the action toggle every time you need to add, you also can set it into your action. Favorite list? You can undo this action and discharge it from your favorite action list when you don't want it anymore. Now let's try and choose the toggle action from the favorite action list and do so with the others. Alarm have marked. Do the same with choosing all the alarm time link to each toggle command. But this time, all the command must turn to off. Press and hold it until see the list and scroll it down to the specific related time. Do the same with another one. Do the same like the action list and show alert.
Now step to the important process. You have to drag all the toggle alarm action that turn on the alarms command you have been set and action list. Show alert under the disable work alarm and choose from menu action form command. In this way, I drag the end menu tab hold and drop under all the actions have set. It will be the fast way to save waste of time. After all, review all the actions and commands last time. If it correct, let's publish. Add to home screen. Rename it if you like. Then choose your favorite color and icon to show on the phone screen to easy recognize. And now, let's go and enjoy it. Choose the command you need to activate. You will see it show every time when the time has set done. But we can edit and fix to let it skip until the end and show the finish board. We will adjust the cancel button. Because the cancel button it won't work in this case since we don't set and command for it. I'll let review for the result first. As you can see, all the work alarm are turned on. Now go back to shortcut and edit it. Turn it off. Do the same with another one. Turn off the cancel button in the action show alert. Sorry, that I didn't remember to turn all the work alarms under disable work alarm and choose from menu action form command to off. Then we do so with turning off all the button show when run on each work alarm time. And turn off the cancel button show when run in show alert action. Review again, then close the shortcut tab. Go back and try again. We found one mistake here. I just copy the working alarm have turned on, but forgot to edit the word onto off. So we go back to shortcuts app again to correct it later. As you can see the command turn off all the work alarm have been activated, but we go back to shortcuts app again to correct the mistake word to make it perfect. After we run the action from the shortcut through the icon has been made, we saw it still have space to fill in some word. So I just make the word easy to read, understand. You can type whatever you like. Okay, this time will be perfect. You also can run through the shortcuts app by pressing the shortcut you have been made. You will see, even you turn one of the work alarms to on or off. Once you press the icon or shortcut, then command it to turn on or turn off by manual. 
By the result, it will turn all the work alarm to on or off as your command. Now, I need to tell you more important thing that if you change the wake up work alarm of time manually, it will automatic link to command you have been made in your shortcut action. That means it still work effectively, but it won't change the time have written before when choose it again to the right related time you have just edited. As you can see now, it still work effectively. So if you have time after you editing your work alarm, it better to come back and correct it for avoiding misunderstood. As you can see, I've changed to 6, 35, but it's still 6, 30. Then it still work with turn on or off to the related time is 6, 35 that I have just edited. Now we choose it back to the right time have just edited. Then correct the text in list. Everything is correct now. All done. Now we test for the last time to see the result. As you can see, there is a blank row show on the screen in the choose from menu action bar. I will delete it later. This is blank row because we didn't type anything, so we delete it. Everything seemed to be work effectively. Good luck and thanks for your watching. Please like, share, subscribe, or leave a comment if you need me to explain more about this tutorial video. If you need more video like this tutorial, please subscribe for following further video publish in the future. Thank you very much and see you soon.